Hello, I am Ann Hoskins, Calf Specialist with Vita Plus Corporation. In this series of videos, we will be focusing on nutrition, systems, calibration, cleanliness, and data management in auto feeding systems. When it comes to auto feeders and nutrition, there are a few key things everyone should know. There are a few basic conversions to jot down. Auto feeders are in metric where most of the calf products and equipment are in English. Next, you need to understand how to calculate solids in your milk replacer solution or if you are using a combination of whole milk and powder. If you are using whole milk exclusively, I would suggest monitoring your solids with a Brix refractometer for quality control. We aim for 12.5 to 15% solids in our recommended solutions. If your solids are too low, the milk is watered down, or if it's too high, your powder inclusion is just too much. In either case, you become concerned about digestive upsets. Also, do not change the concentration or solids level in a feeding plan. This should always remain constant. Next, look at your current feeding program and decide if that will work for your auto feeder. Have you evaluated your replacement program and are your heifers meeting the current goals? Work with your nutritionist to establish a feeding program that will grow your calves most efficiently to meet those goals. Most auto feeding systems will offer a calf two to two and a half pounds of milk powder per day at the height of the feeding program, with a total to seven to eight liters of solution per day. Once you have decided how much powder per day to feed, you can then back calculate to the concentration and how many liters of solution. Feeding programs are set up as a ramp up, static, and ramp down feeding plan. Your feeding plan should reflect when you are entering calves in the feeder. If you are backgrounding those calves for 10 days, you must take that into account of your total feeding plan. The auto feeder will register the calf when it first comes in and then considers that the first day of the plan. The feeding plan itself may only need to be 40 days if you are looking to wean at 50 days. Keep in mind, this may change how you feed your calves prior to entering the feeder. Feeding 3.8 liters per day for 10 days and then expecting them to jump to 8 liters shortly after entering the feeder is a very big leap. You may need to start the ramp up in the individual stalls. In some cases, calves are trained immediately on the feeder with a slow ramp up. When training calves, it's crucial to make sure they are consuming enough volume to support their maintenance needs a minimum of four liters per day for calves less than a week old. When starting calves, look at your limitations and maximums. This refers to how much they can eat at one feeding. This can be a moving target on any farm. The key is to let the calf consume enough at one feeding to satisfy them, but not overeat. These settings can be adjusted within the total feed plan. So in the beginning, set the limitation and max lower for the smaller calves and increase with age and consumption. Indications that you need to adjust these settings are sucking, tail biting, reduced visits, or digestive upsets. Weaning will often occur 10 to 15 days prior to the calf's final feeding. Slower weanings are easier on the calf and encourage starter intake. With these high feeding rates, most calves are slow to eat starter. Starter is still one of the key components of any good transition. We would like to see calves consuming five to seven pounds of grain when they are moving into a transition facility. Another advantage of using auto feeders is the ability to have multiple feed plans. If you have small calves, twins, or a poor doer, you can have a plan that may feed less, have slower inclines and declines. But when using multiple plans, it's important to have calves wean at approximately the same time, or they may get lost within the system. Other advantages include the ability to use additives for certain calves. Electrolytes, medications, or other additives may be dosed to a specific calf for a certain time period. This is also known as the prescription field. Most machines will offer a dry liquid medicator option. Stay tuned for future videos on maintenance and troubleshooting.